past. I was emotionally abused in my relationship in the past, years and years and years ago. And um, I, I, I was very vulnerable going into that relationship. Mm -hmm. I, had, I was really into this one guy, and he was trying to tell me... Were you in your 20s? I was in my 20s. Oh, the, the 20s. 20s. Oh, the 20s. Thank God yeah. for the 30s. <laughs> Thank God for the 30s. Okay, Go ahead. so, yeah, I was with this boy, and he told me that he wanted to meet my... He wanted me to meet his mother and get on a plane, all this kind of stuff. And so I said, okay, so I'm going to meet your mom. What's our relationship? And he's like, oh, I'm not ready to have a serious relationship. And I'm like, wait, you want me to meet your mama? And fly on a plane, but you don't want to have a serious relationship. And so I ended up kind of breaking it off with him. But I felt very, my, my self-esteem was very low because I felt rejected by him. So then this new guy comes along and I immediately went to him because I needed to feel validated. Two weeks into that relationship, I already felt he was strange. I already felt he was p possessive and already jealous. After two weeks, he didn't even know my middle name yet. It led to serious, serious emotional abuse where I was two people. I was a supermodel at the top of my game. I was coming here, Oprah. I was doing stuff with you at that time. Really? And, yeah. And, you know, in, in life with my friends and at work, I was happy, happy. Then I'd go to him, and I felt just, like, awful, awful, awful. And I stayed because I felt like if I left and he didn't change and didn't treat me how I felt I deserved to be treated, I was a failure. I wasn't even in love with him. And one day... I was at his house, and I walked to the mirror in his bathroom. He wasn't there. I walked to the mirror in the bathroom, and I had this moment with myself. And out loud, I looked in that mirror, and I said, Tyra, who are you? Mm. What the hell are you doing? Mm. Get out of here. Now, I said that to myself out loud, and I'm like, am I going crazy? I'm talking to myself. And it took me a couple of months to get out, but I couldn't get out in person with him because I had tried 15 times to do that, and he kept pulling me back in. So I had to do it over the phone. Okay, so let's talk about this, what, I was just, what we were just saying earlier. Um, was it self-esteem for you, too? Here you Most are, definitely. Sports Illustrated, on the cover, modeling, everything. Yep, didn't matter. I felt rejected. I felt... I was at the top of my game, like Rihanna, top of my game. Rihanna is one of the... Yeah. Top three singers right now, probably. Right. Her, Britney Spears, Beyonce. She's up there. I was the same way. One of the top ten models in the entire world. But I didn't feel good inside. I felt rejected. So I what felt kinds of things would he say to you or um, do? You know, he had these ups and downs. And sometimes, when we were in public with other people, he was a master at being able to be happy and nice to everybody else, but whispering these negative things to me and treating me awful, where everybody didn't know. Yeah. So all my friends are laughing and stuff, and I'd go complain to my friends. and like, well, he's fine, girl. He's fine with us. Everything's fine. And it was a constant blaming me. Well, I'm moody because of you, Tyra. You do this to me. He was excessively jealous. Mm -hmm. He would, ch you know, I became obsessed with checking his page or Oprah. I became like Sherlock Holmes. He would go into the bathroom. I would well, that's pull when you that know you're in trouble anyway. Yes, I totally when you're knew. looking at the wallet and checking the messages obsessed. and all that stuff. Yeah, yes, obsessed. but I finally got out because I had a plan. You know, and that's what I want to talk to the girls about today, is having a plan to get to out. To get out. It's not something you can just do. It's something you need to work up to.